Hi everyone! Welcome back to Town Mates. I hope you had a wonderful Chinese New Year celebration. This week, I'm going to make a popular Chinese home cooking dish: cauliflower and pork belly stir fry. Gan guo hua ro. If you're looking for other ways to cook cauliflower, this is the recipe for you. First, break one medium head of Chinese cauliflower into small pieces. Don't know where to find it? That's okay. A regular cauliflower will be just fine. When you are done, toss it in a bowl and wash with warm water. Before cutting up rest of the ingredients, boil six cups of water in a pot or a wok for later use. Chop four cloves of garlic, da cong, into thin pieces. Two green chilies, yu jiao, make diagonal cuts. Don't worry, these chilies aren't very spicy. I use them for the color. Four fresh red chilies, xiao mi la. Chop them into small pieces. Four red Thai chilies, hong la jiao. Cut them in half and take out the seeds. These are actually very spicy. If you love spicy food, go ahead and keep it. If you don't or cannot handle spicy food, use red and green bell peppers. Three scallions, xiao cong. Chop bottom inch off. Separate stems and leaves. Once again, make diagonal cuts. Now, for the meat, we're going to use little over a pound of pork belly. Wu Hua Rou. Slice them into thin pieces. This flavorful of a fatty meat is loved by foodies all around the world, especially in the Korean barbecue community. Add a half teaspoon of kosher salt, yen. Into boiling water. A secret in making cauliflower crunchy. Toss in the cauliflower. Cook for two minutes. Once the stems start to turn green, take it out and place it in a drainer or a bowl. He walk on high. Add one tablespoon of olive oil, gan lan yu. When it gets hot, toss in pork belly. First, it will cook. Once all the water is gone from the meat, the heat will start to extract oil from the fat. Once that happens, the frying process will begin. So keep frying until meat turns orange. Also, stand away from the stove so oil will splash onto you. Or Place a lid over the wok to prevent oil from splashing at all. Now, we can throw in the garlic, red chilies, stir for a few times, then scallion stems, green and Thai chili. Stir it well. Cook for about a minute. Drop in the cauliflower. And lower heat to medium. Keep cooking for two minutes. No more than that. For the sauce, we need one teaspoon of Sichuan bean paste, 豆瓣酱 a third teaspoon of kosher salt. Mix it well so sauce is evenly spread out. Finally, toss in scallion leaves. Stir a few times, and then it's ready to be served. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy this recipe.